Hey guys, Lord Sora here. I have been working very hard behind the scenes, so here we are, right before the expansion. I have some really fun, great builds to share with you. I have previously displayed this build during Season 6 PTR, and it was absolutely one of the most fun builds I have ever tried as a Necromancer. Not only fun, but also this will be one of the best builds to play in the new expansion, reserving its place in S tier category. I have had an 8 minute tier 100 clear with a very sub optimal build but my buddy rise was able to get a near 5 minute clear with it as he spent more time getting a more decent gear both links will be in description if you want to check those out to see more uncut full gameplay i'm also dropping my build planner link down in description currently it's set up as a very min maxed end game setup requiring expensive gear but I'm also working on making more ancestral, no mythics type of setup as well in, in case you want to get this build online very early. I just put this one out there for now. Um, I've been working very hard on other builds as well. So I want to get this one out to you all as what you may strive your gear to look like as you work towards it. So at least you have sort of an end game, end game goal with this build. But... In addition to that, I will be making, you know, ancestral version, no mythics version as well um, on that same planner link. But in the meantime, I highly suggest you check out Macro Bio Boy's build guide on Max Roll. I have been working alongside of him, so he has written a very detailed guide covering multiple versions of the build that can also be applied very early game and very late game as well. So that should get you to a really good place in the meantime if you want to check that out. I'm sure he will also be doing a very detailed build video on it. I'm doing some things differently, not to say one or another is better, just a matter of preferring different things. But yeah, check the planner, check the build guide, let me know what you think of the build, give us a feedback, um, what, what you like to play on this build and what feels better for you. Before rambling on too much, I want to make this video as concise as possible, so let's cover some of the key aspects of the build. This build relies on the helmet, Unmaker, which directly tied to our new ultimate, Darkness Ultimate Soul Rift. While Soul Rift is active, the quicker we spend and generate essence, the more damage instances we proc from Unmaker. And the best essence engine in the game is Bone Spirit. It's literally one button essence spender and combined with Macabre generate essence tempers on our um, amulet rings. It's also one of the one button essence generator. So for example, let's say you have 100 essence. With Bone Spirit combined with Macabre Essence Tempers, we will spend all of our essence and immediately generate 100 essence back. This would give us 3 Unmaker damaged instances. So how do we achieve that? Let's dive in deeper. 2 Macabre Tempers max rolled with Masterwork Triple Crit, giving us 46 essence value. This is the best case scenario, obviously, which you do not need for this build to function. Build will function just fine. Just looking at the best case scenario in the game, this is what I'm going to be doing to truly min-max while pushing really high and uh, high tier pits. So assuming that each mock-up skill giving us about 92 essence immediately, if we put this tempering on both of our rings, but then we also have resource generation affix on Unmaker, which we should aim to get a GA version of this which would give us about 39% more resource generation. So based on, based on this calculation, per each Bone Spirit cast, you would immediately generate 127 essence per cast. However, if we only have 100 maximum essence, the extra 27 we generate will be a waste, since over generating essence won't proc on Maker. So in the end game, I personally aim for 150 maximum essence and looking to generate 150 essence per each bone spirit cast how do i achieve that the new mythic chest the false dead also has resource generation affix 30 percent ga triple master word so in total combined we have 69 percent resource generation on top of generating 94 essence from macabre skills this will net us 150 essence per each bone spirit cast giving us 5 unmaker procs per cast. As you can see, we're overcapping our breakpoint of 150 maximum essence there a bit, but give or take, maybe you miss a masterwork, maybe you don't get the perfect roll. As long as you are over 150, it should function just as this I described it. 
Another key point I want to touch and cover on this build is how do you actually play this build? How do you control the overpower damage? Well, there's a bug or maybe intended mechanic, who knows at this point, but Soul Rift and Unmaker is able to snapshot overpower. And we get to control this by utilizing the new rune Zan combined with Yule. So we cast a skill with cooldown, which is Bone Spirit Tenders, our ultimate, as well as even Blood Mist. We generate 50 offerings. Once we reach 100 offering, our next cast procs overpower. And this is the case you will have to pay attention to the buff timer on your buff bar. And the moment it's about to be active, your next skill has to be ultimate soul rift. And then for its duration, every proc of Unmaker will be overpowered. It may sound a bit tricky, but after some practice with the dummy, it's actually not that hard to control. Like, especially knowing myself, I do not see myself that mechanically skilled. And if I was able to do it, I think you can too. Just takes a bit practice. And honestly, it adds such a nice timing and cooldown management element to the gameplay that makes the gameplay super reward rewarding. Like when you have your rotation down, things just get deleted and it feels very impactful and powerful to play this build. Once we start pushing with this build, I'm going to make more content about it. So expect updates on this. And I believe we have a really fun build in our hands going into expansion. That is going to be very, very strong in all kinds of content, even speed farming. Because if you pay attention to the gameplay, it's actually plays very similar to Blood Surge, but it's Shadow. You call it maybe Shadow Surge. I don't know. So you just spam Bone Spirit. Massive AoE of Darkness gets procced and deleting the entire screen. Anyhow, like I said, expect more detailed build guides soon. Planners are in the description. In the meantime, drop a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. A lot more content is on the way. Thank you for watching. It's great to be back. I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.